everybody. We are so thankful that you're here today with us. And today's topic is, it's kind of negative. So bear with us, help us to uh, just give you the information and here we go. So the title of today's uh, session or video is Dealing with Child Protective Services. <music> So let's talk about the legal disclaimer, the thing I have to say. This is not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer, she is not a lawyer. We are not giving legal advice, we are giving experience. Experience that we've had, experience we've, we've gone through with other people. We are not authorities in any legal way or means. This is simply to help you. And we're not authorities in each and every state within the yes. United States. So understand and take for with a grain of salt everything we say because different states have different rules yes so going into that let's talk about number one number one is you are guilty until proven innocent now unfortunately now let me give one more disclaimer <laughs> i have no doubt now it might be child protective services in your state it might be called something else all right i have no doubt whatsoever that there are kind people who work in child protective services that there are people who believe in what they're doing and i'm not bashing those people at all neither one of us are mm -mm. okay there are people i mean you meet good teachers you meet bad teachers you know i mean so in this case i'm sure however we did not encounter any of those people in our experiences and we haven't encountered any of those people in our experiences but i just wanted to put out there that i know that they're more than likely there however with that in our experience there, you are guilty until proven innocent. They do not come in and question you and say, hey, there was this, there was this thing and we just like to ask you a few questions, okay? In fact, our experience on number one was quite different. Yeah, uh, you would think it's the 21st century or, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. You'd think that, yeah, <laughs> that it would be different in that we have due process and blah 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 it does not work that way when it comes to child protective services and so our first experience was pretty scary because they came to me at work and the woman said why are you abusing your children before any introductions or anything like everything that she had been tipped off on was from mike's ex-wife and it was i mean she didn't even know whether or not I was abusing our children, you know? And so that is a really frustrating part of dealing with these people. Yeah, the uh, they roll in there with the information they've gotten from the other person and they assume that they are correct, okay? They assume that you have done something bad and you are absolutely guilty until proven innocent in the, in their eyes, okay? So they they have a completely different due process than what you would expect. Mm -hmm. uh, they can show up with the police, sometimes they don't. They don't have to announce who they are right away, which was the case with us. Uh, other people we know, you know, I mean, really, Child Protective Services, they're there as a tool for, for, for actual abuse. Mm -hmm. They're also there for a tool, unfortunately, for angry exes. Yes. Okay, well, I'll show you. And in our case, uh, there was, I'll say it, there was no abuse happening in the home. We were clear to the entire thing and, and we'll, you know, and in later videos, we'll go into that in detail, but, but you know, you are guilty until proven innocent and rolling into that. I want to go to number two. Number two is no one to keep your mouth shut. Now, when family services or child protective services comes to your door knocking and they're like, why are you abusing these kids? Your first inclination is going to be get off my porch or you're going to be so afraid that you're you're just going to let them in and do whatever. Mm -hmm. But what we're talking about here specifically is knowing when you keep your mouth shut. When Child Protective Services comes to your door and they say, "Hey, we want to know why you're abusing your kids," saying, "Get off my porch" or or some other expletive is probably not the time, and it's not going to bode well in the investigation. Exactly. So what we suggest is know now what your rights are in your state when it comes to this because uh, more often than not especially if you're dealing with a toxic uh high conflict ex ex you know spouse 
you might be met with this sort of problem. You might be met with this sort of problem many times as we were. Uh, and so make sure that you know the rights for your state and in keeping your mouth shut, be friendly, be kind and be calm because those are really important when it comes to how the uh, Child Protective Services sees you to begin with. Um, and they very much go on feelings mm -hmm. uh, is what we found out. And yes, it is stressful. It is stressful having them tell you that they're gonna question your children without you in the room, okay? And we chose not to let that happen because we, we knew our rights. Um, especially the second time. Um, so just know when to say something and know when not to, but also be mm -hmm. pleasant and brush, you know, kind of brush it off to the side, especially if you are not doing anything wrong. You don't have to stick up for yourself, but you do have to be friendly and you have to be um, willing to work with them. Cooperative, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, in our particular case, not to go into great detail, but part of the reason that we were exonerated and that we didn't have a problem was I found out what our rights were really quick. We didn't just jump. We were cooperative and we answered all their questions, but I stood firm on the things I knew. In our state, you don't have to leave the kids talking to those people alone. Now that wasn't something I knew right off, but once we figured that out, that stopped. Um, you know, and then when they when they wanted certain things that I knew they couldn't push me on, and they will push you. And they will threaten legal action. No, in your state, if they have the authority to do that, because nine times out of 10, they don't. They're pushing to get more information. They're asking your kids leading questions. And you just really got to be, be aware, be cognitive, be calm. Exactly. And, you know, in your state, it might be a good idea for you to start lobbying on changing the situation because yeah. why... I, I have no problem with them uh, finding out and questioning on mm -hmm. whatever tip that they get. But if it's an ex-spouse, I'm sorry, but there should be a... A red flag. Yeah. Yep. It should be. And so that's what we're saying here is it's not okay. And Child Protective Services is for people who are actually abusing their children. Yeah. Not some he said, she said crap. Which is unfortunately what happens a lot of times. So... First rule, you're guilty until proven innocent. Don't expect otherwise. Second, second, know when to keep your mouth shut. And third, Brenda already mentioned, know your rights. Make sure you know your rights for your state. Yeah, and the Department of Health and Human Services website uh, with your state is probably the best place for you to start looking to see what your rights are. Uh, it's always better to be prepared and not need the information than be then need not, it, be, not be prepared. Right, exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. No, we're good. All right. Well, oh, yeah, there's lots, but oh, we're yeah. Not talk about that today. <laughs> yeah, we try to keep these short because we know that you're busy and we want to empower you with this information, but not take a huge amount of your time. So, we really hope that this session uh, dealing with Child Protective Services helps you in some way. We really, really hope that you don't ever have to deal with them because it is, it's very stressful yes. and it is a nightmare. Uh, but if you do, just understand that we're right there with you. We understand what you're going through. Um, our hearts go out to you because this stuff is tough. It is really tough and it's really hard on your remarriage uh, because there can be situations where you end up fighting because you're just so stressed. So if you need any assistance, uh, encouragement, support in that area with your new spouse, we ask you to leave us a comment uh, or find us on Facebook and message us, and we will do our best to help support and encourage you while you're going through this. Um, so we thank you so very much for being with us today, and we hope that this helped you. Please uh, leave a comment or share this episode. Uh, there's many other episodes such as dealing with um, uh, child support and things like that that are that are going to be helpful to you if you don't know uh, if you're just starting the divorce process. So we hope that this helped you and we will talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.